people. So we're on our second to last episode and I wanted to get uh, least this section done and then we might be able to squeeze in maybe another settlement somewhere. Yeah, let's see that that's going to be a little bit harder to pick because uh, we've developed all that area. Oh, we still have those islands too. That's right. So there's a cemetery on this one. Uh, I don't know if I can actually delete that. Okay, it's one unit itself, so that's not a huge issue. And then we have this island over here that we might be able to do something with. So, we also got that one. So there's a few islands that we can still make use of uh, for settlements. I think we could... Oh, and there's this space over here that we haven't done anything with. But... Um, so if we work on that, and how uneven is this terrain? I want to know. I mean, we could get away with it if we really wanted to, but it's pretty uneven compared to these ones. So we might be able to put... See, I'm not sure the noise pollution of that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty noisy along here, so... I don't know. Um, don't really want to put something in there, but then again, all along this highway is pretty noisy too, so that's going to be something. Actually, look at how much noise pollution is over here compared to what we did over on these parts. It's quite a big difference. Huh, good to know. At least I know a little bit more. Is that a gold plane? That looks like a gold plane. That's funny. Alright, um, yeah, so we'll start with uh, the area over here, and given that there's a lot of traffic coming through here, I think we might even have to start upgrading the roads from one lane to two lane, possibly. We'll see. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. They do slow down around here because it's a uh, ferry road, but... Not much we can do for that part, unless we totally revamp the area. Not much traffic over there. Uh, congestion's pretty good um, for most of this highway, I would say. Like, a lot of the parts where there's junctions aren't that bad. But... It starts to pick up around the exits, I would say. And once you start getting into these parts, it gets a little bit more chaotic. So.
So there's this intersection. I've tried to tinker with it to make it a little bit more efficient and it's just such a prob problematic thing with the cargo train terminal here for the trains. There is problems with people coming from our industry area and then there's people trying to get on and off. So I've only kind of figured out a couple of the problems. I'm sure there's way more than I can actually figure out. Uh, but clicking on to the routes, like we can see that here, a lot of the business trucks are going this way and then either turning down that way or going into the airport or trade terminal, which it's hard to actually see how many are doing which. It looks like a lot are going this way though. So what we could try to do is branch off some of that traffic. So rather than have it bottleneck there, we can maybe get some traffic going this way instead. That might help a little bit. I'm not sure if it will, but we can give it a shot. We We'll have to rearrange some of the tracks, I think, but um, should be feasible, hopefully. And hopefully that can kind of prevent a lot of the bottlenecking from people trying to get... Oh, there's a cliff here, too. Uh, we'll go under... I'm not sure if this will work. Just barely. Okay, I don't really want it like that though. Uh, we'll see if we can't hook it up like that and see if that helps. We'll just experiment with that. We'll make it better if it's going to help, but I don't want to um, mess around with the junction too much unless people will start using it. Because it's already in pretty rough condition. It gets a little bit better during the night when there's not as much traffic, but still. I think a lot of the traffic's trying to get that way. We'll have to let it kind of run its course and see how that turns out. This is kind of like an express route now, so we'll see how many people start using it. Looks like some of them are starting now. Okay, let's just quickly monitor the traffic from this intersection. Looks like a lot are going that way now. Most are choosing to...
so I've been looking at the traffic congestion and seeing how, uh, or pardon me, the traffic flow and seeing, you know, just some of the hot spots during the day where traffic's a little bit tight and seeing if there's anything that we could really actually do to improve it. And for the most part, most of it's actually flowing quite well. Uh, there's some stopping over here. That might be because there's a stop sign, but that's not too bad. And this is a little bit tight. Getting on to that part might be able to fit a two lane in, uh, but it does back up along here. So that might be part of an issue. Uh, we might be able to figure something out there, maybe. I'm not sure why they're de deciding to back up so much here, but I think they're mostly lane changing to get to another section. Could be due to the highway design. Uh, we have a three lane going, or a four lane, I think, over here to go over there. So most likely they're changing because of that. So we can probably fix that up pretty easily just by replacing that. We'll see how that works. Maybe they'll continue to be in the same lane. We'll let it sort itself out and see if that helps. Uh, we have a two lane going from here. And there's a few other locations around the city and like day is obviously the best time to actually see the um, traffic congestion. I did sort out most of the intersection over, where is it, over here. It is a little bit busy at times, though it, I think most of these are pedestrian cars, by the looks of it, tourism. Yeah, it looks like a lot of tourism cars. There's hardly any, there's some service vehicles, but it's mostly uh, private vehicles by the looks of it, so there's not much I can actually do for that. Um, cargo, on the other hand, I, I was able to sort that out a little bit more, but um, at night this is basically flowing really well. And there's no issues, uh, though it's like a spaghetti junction over here. I also put a roundabout over here and routed around just so it was a little bit more better because that started to bottleneck about up at this intersection after I sorted this out. Yeah, see, it's not that bad. Like, once they're, they start get flowing and stuff, it's not too bad. But, like, I'm, I'm not sure where half these people are trying to go.
After letting the game run for a little bit, uh, we did get a couple things sorted out. This isn't half as busy as it used to be, though I have tried to get trucks to use this um, expressway. Uh, it goes all the way under here, connects up to here, and goes that way. Do you think they use it? No, of course they don't. Uh, they totally decide to still use the roundabout for some weird reason, and without putting a high traffic ban on this area, I don't think I can really resolve that issue for this intersection. It's just, it's ridiculously how dumb this AI is for the traffic. Like, it's, even though there is this expressway that goes the direction that these people are wanting to go, and a lot of them do want to go that way, like, if we, we click around, we can see that a lot of them are coming from here and going directly on to the um, expressway, which some go out of the city and some just go back into the industrial way, but none of them want to use this expressway, which is, like, really weird. I've tried readjusting the length of where it should be and all that other stuff, and it's just, like, new. And then... We have this long stretch, which I don't think this uh, roundabout is large enough to handle the amount of traffic going through here, so we're going to have to tackle that tomorrow. And, and I've tried to get it as smooth as possible for people so they don't have to cut over the intersections and stuff like that, but it just is what it is. Like, I mean, there's not much we can do to improve this long stretch. There's just so much cargo and passenger vehicles going through here at every given moment, right? So we have the airport, we have a cargo terminal, for, which does help get some of the places like the cargo to the airport, but it also is kind of like a double-edged sword. It will also contribute to the traffic as well, so. And it's just, I don't know, it, the, the amount of like, I could put another rail station in here and try to locate where all the traffic's coming from, but... I don't know, it's just it's just a problem during the day. Uh, outside of this one issue, which this can easily be fixed with a larger roundabout. I didn't make it as big as I usually do, but... Anyhow, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace out.